Hi, and welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Bailey Review Sports Editor Jeff Stout here with Berwick Coach Mike Walker. It's playoff time in Class 3A. Berwick is the number 22 seed and will be traveling to face number 11 seed Northwest. A week ago, Berwick defeated North Vermillion 60 to 29, and I can't go again without saying Josh Jones rushed for 616 yards, nine touchdowns. Still hard for me to believe, or short for you too. So somebody <laughs> put up that. Um, like a video game. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, you know, Coach, uh, obviously, you know, you hit a point at one point in the season, you're 2-5, and five, and going in after losing to Kaplan close, uh, really had no more margin for error. You know, had to move, had to keep winning to get in, and uh, you were able to do that. And it seems, I guess, like you've been in playoff mode for the last three weeks now. Uh, yeah, you're exactly right. We've kind of taken the approach each week that it, it's, you know, Winner, winner, go home. And uh, you know, fortunately for us, we've been making just enough plays where we can, you know, keep winning, and hopefully we can continue that trend on Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, Friday, obviously, you got. Uh, well, can you give me your, I guess, thoughts on your team? You know, heading into the playoffs, like how you thought y'all done this year? Yeah, you know, I thought. I, you know, obviously, we're a handful of games from instead of being five and five, being seven and three, or you know, even eight and two. Um, you know, but the kids never quit. You know, they, they, it would have been easy for them to kind of say, oh, this new guy doesn't really know, you know, what he's talking about or what he's doing. But they stayed and they, they, they trusted the process. They trusted the system. And, you know, I think having six, seven, eight weeks of, you know, trust and, and you know, d development really has gone boded well for our team. And I think we're playing pretty well right now. Yeah, we're, we're banged up a little bit, but I think we're, we're playing pretty good football right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of peaking at the right time. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously this week you have Northwest uh... – you know, a game that earlier this year, y'all played them and dropped late. They came back and won at 34-31. I know it's playoff time, but is there kind of somewhat of a – you're looking at it kind of as a redemption game too or not really? You know, it's, we always kind of take the, the mantra of the next game is the most important game. Uh, you know, yeah, we let, we let it slip last time. and We had an 11-point lead late in the ball game. Uh, gave a, a couple kick returns, big kick returns, one for a score uh, and a long one. Um, so, but I think our kids are, you know, in a good place about it. I think they know it's an opponent that they know, you know, in a, a stadium we've been to before. So, uh, you know, a lot of times when you get the first round of the playoffs, you have to try a typical 11-22 matchup. It's, you know, it can seem overwhelming, but I think our kids have been there before and they should be able to handle the environment. You know, obviously uh, that last game, uh, road trip, you know, this game was a road trip the first time. Uh, I'm sure you feel better about your kids and how they prepare when they travel now from week 10 as opposed to week two no yeah no doubt we've definitely kind of you know we've adjusted our, our game day routine a little bit from kind of the experience that we had in, in week two uh you know we've, we've been playing much better on the road since uh you know since week two so we're okay. gonna stick with it <laughs> and uh just give me your thoughts on uh northwest i mean i'm sure they're probably the same about what they were offensively and defensively early this year, but just give me your thoughts on them and who stands out. Uh, I, I think for them it's, it starts and stops with the, on offense. Their quarterback, uh, number one, he's a, he's a good player. Uh, he's a good runner. Uh, he's a decent, a decent enough thrower to keep you honest, but, uh, but he's a much better runner than he is a thrower. Uh, and last game it was the same thing. You know, he kind of set the tempo early and set the tone early with some of his physical runs. Um, so I think defensively we have to be able to stop him and limit him and what he's able to do running the football and kind of force him to be just throwing the ball, which I don't think he can do. Um, and I think defensively they're going to load the box that, that they've done every week. And even the first time we played them, they loaded the box and played man coverage. Um, so we're going to have to be able to win some of those one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside at receiver. You know, that's something that you talked about them running the ball that, uh, you know, you've seen a lot of in district, a lot of physical teams. So that's, Definitely. I mean, like you said, you know, you're somewhat banged out, but, you know, that's something that uh, is not going to be anything new. Or Correct. Something. Yeah, and we, we've seen our fair share of physical, you know, physical teams up front. Uh, so I think, you know, that'll be good uh, preparation for us this week. All right, Coach Berwick in Northwest, Friday at 7 p.m. in Opelousas. Coach, best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I guess a little bit more about Northwest and Berwick. Berwick enters the postseason at five and five overall and three and two in District Eight Three A. They've won their last three district contests. Northwest is seven and three overall and finished four and four in a brutal District Five Three A um, district this year, which features some of the top teams in the state. Kaplan is also a top five team in the state, and they're from Berwick's District Eight Three A. 
Josh Jones leads Burroughs rushing attack with 2,021 yards rushing and 26 touchdowns. And he also has 13 catches for 172 yards and two scores. Meanwhile, Mitchell Sanford has rushed for 382 yards and five touchdowns and thrown for 1,354 yards and 13 scores and nine interceptions. Barrett Hovers is leading receiver with 45 catches for 727 yards and eight scores, while Hunter Landry has 17 catches for 174 yards. That's another edition of Inside the Huddle. Thanks for watching. Ready, Ready when you are. A little bit more about Northwest and Berwick. Berwick enters the postseason at 5-5 five and five overall and 3-2 and two in District 8-3A. They've won their last three district contests. Northwest is 7-3 and three overall and finished 4-4 four and four in a brutal District 5-3A um, district this year, which features some of the top teams in the state. Kaplan is also a top five team in the state, and they're from Berwick's District 8-3A. Josh Jones leads Burroughs rushing attack with 2,021 yards rushing and 26 touchdowns. And he also has 13 catches for 172 yards and two scores. Meanwhile, Mitchell Sanford has rushed for 382 yards and five touchdowns and thrown for 1,354 yards and 13 scores and nine interceptions. Barrett Hovers is leading receiver with 45 catches for 727 yards and eight scores, while Hunter Landry has 17 catches for 174 yards. That's another edition of Inside the Huddle. Thanks for watching.